Hello and greetings my fellow Lawn Darkens and welcome to the Lawn Dark tutorial series number three where we'll be talking about crafting. And I do want to include this in uh, that part of the tutorial where I'm just going to talk about curing. Uh, curing a new aspect in uh, point two four three they uh, introduced. Uh, with actually being able to have to, you're going to have to set your stuff out, cure it before you can actually do any of your craftable uh, clothing, uh, etc. whatnot. I actually have all this already cured so we're actually going to pick this up. Yeah, it has to be dropped on the floor in an interior location. Uh, and they can't do it anywhere like if I go out. This is actually uh, defined as an interior location. Uh, so this does count. Uh, but if I sit on the ground out here, it does not work. Also, you cannot put it in a container. You cannot container it. It has to be on the floor in an interior location. That may change in the future, but right now that's the way you can't carry it with you. It will not cure while you're carrying it. I mean, you can't carry it with you, but it's not going to, just remember, it's not going to cure. Let's close the door. We're not savages. And then we're going to be talking about what the main idea uh, of this is crafting. We're going to go through the crafting table. I'm going to show you everything you need to do there. All right, so look, we're actually at the Pleasant Valley Farmstead located in Pleasant Valley. This is where I'm currently on my run of, uh, we've got about 202 days right now in stalker mode. I'm actually setting up for trying to get out back a little higher board on the leaderboard. I've kind of dropped down to 20-ish. Ah, uh, because I just have not had time to do a run lately. So let's go get onto the workbench. Okay, first thing we'll be talking about is the old man beard's wound dressing. This is actually part of the uh, nature and natural ingredients you can collect to actually help out. Well, because once you're antiseptic, your painkillers, antibiotics, and all that are gone, you're going to need to apply something. But I've never actually, I've had long, long runs, and I've never ran out of any of those things, but just in case. This is actually kind of nice because it's a two-in-one thing. You just need some old man beards lichen and then a bandage. And that'll make old man beards wound dressing. But you can uh, put those two together. Uh, so it actually does two-in-one. So you don't have to go your bandage and then in the septic. You can just do this right off the bat. I actually kind of had to recommend that just to preserve time there. Because when you do get wounded, it can... Uh, a couple of seconds there can be life or death sometimes. I'm talking about torches. This is one thing I never actually, uh, they have actually lowered the materials for this. Uh, but I've never really had any good luck with it. Doesn't even, my keep it with bay. Very seldom has this ever kept wolf, kept wolf to bay for me at least. Uh, but they have, uh, lessened, uh, the materials required. Uh, yeah, re just one piece of reclaimed wood, a piece of cloth, and some kerosene. So if you want to have fun with it, yeah, it's not too bad. And actually one thing I've, when I've, if you're lighting a bunch, a whole bunch of fires, it does make it pretty easy once you get a torch lit just to go spread that around, starting more fires for that. No tools required for that, and also no tools required for this one to make. And a snare, which I've had a lot of bad luck lately with snares, but yeah, just one cured gut and one reclaimed wood will make a snare pretty easy. Usually I do set up maybe like uh, two at a time, because you're going to get a lot of snare breakage it seems lately. About half an hour to make that. No tools required on that also. If one does break, you just need to uh, harvest that. You'll only get the reclaimed wood back, but the gut will get you that. And that's what we'll bring into our fishing aspect. Uh, one piece of scrap metal will make three hooks. Because uh, your fishing line can break and will eventually. Especially as that has durability on it also. That's also for the line. You just need one piece of cured gut per to get two lines out of that. And you just use the hook and the line to make fishing tackle. Don't no tools required for that. Okay, let's bring this to rabbit skin mitts. But you're gonna need four cured rabbit pelts and about two guts. That generally just the with the curing changes, you're not gonna get crafted clothes for about the first two weeks. Uh, because it's gonna take you probably about a week at least to get those rabbits. Yeah, you can probably get it in a couple days if you set up multiple, multiple snares. Maybe even one day if you did set up a bunch, but yeah, you gotta have that gut first. So that's still gonna take you about a week uh, before you get your first gut. So yeah, four uh, rabbit pelts and then two guts for that. About the best uh, hand uh, warmers you can get in the game right now. You're gonna need a sewing kit for that. About five hours to make. Bring us to deerskin boots. Ah, oh, but the best boots you can get. Oh, rather, rather, rather nice boots. What I'm wearing right now. I'm uh, gonna need two deer hides for that. And four gut. About 12 hours. About double what that's on almost. But definitely worth it. Okay, let me check this. Remember, uh, you do need uh, now rabbit skin. Uh, you need the pelt. 
So I'm just going to repair that also with the deerskin boots for about 30% uh, repair rate per hide. Kind of pricey, kind of pricey. So you don't get deer all that often sometimes. Likewise with the deerskin pants, still going to need a deer hide to repair that. But yeah, pretty good pants, pretty yeah, a little bit better than the cargo pants with 3 degree warmth bonus and a 3 degree uh, windproof bonus. And four guts for that. About the same time as the deerskin boots. Uh, wolf, one of my favorite wolf skin coat. It's going to take 25 hours to make. You're actually going to need uh, your hunting knife. You're going to need four wolf pelts. Yeah, wolf's probably about the easiest thing to hunt, really, because they're pretty predictable. They usually do come straight at you. Ah, uh, yeah, and about four guts for that. It's going to take a little bit, but it's, it's got a crazy warmth bonus. That's the one I'm wearing right now. And a windproof bonus. Where's my better skin bedroll? Which I think we might need, because I have a feeling a new map is coming in July. Uh, hopefully. Hopefully a new map in July, when they come up with the July update. Uh, yeah, so it takes about, uh, about less than, yeah, about 16 hours to make. Two bear hides, five cloth, and about six gut. But if you're taking, if you're taking down two bears, you're going to get about 20 gut out of that once you harvest all that. So that's a little bit pricey with the cloth, but eh, it's... If you're going to need to use a bedroll, this is one I would use. I'll definitely be using that in my traveling. I've already made one. Okay, then this brings us to the survival bow, which you're going to need for hunting. And we'll be talking about a little bit uh, in another video about maple zaplings, where to find that, where to look for all that. Oh, uh, yeah, you're going to need one cure maple zaplings. So you're going to let that sit for about maybe like a week. And the cured gut. It takes about five hours. Uh, it, it, does, it is degradable. It degrades per shot. And not repairable at the moment. Uh, but you do get usually at least a couple of maple zaplings per game. So you're going to be able to make multiple uh, bows there. And that brings us to our birth sapling once you cure that. Uh, I think I've got about maybe... I found about 15, 16 zaplings. Uh, I'll throw through the map. I want a little bit of a hunting spree for that. Uh, so you probably get at least about 30 ar uh, arrows in game depending on your range rule luck on that. Right there, bring us two arrowheads, which you're going to need uh, simple tools or quality tool set. Either one doesn't really matter. Uh, to make two arrowheads, you get two arrowheads for a scrap metal, but make sure you don't go crazy on the, the arrowheads. At least some scrap metal for yourself because you're going to need to repair your tools also. Uh, tools very important in harvesting and whatnot. All right, which brings us to this simple arrow. It takes about an hour and a half to make. I, I, I guess I would imagine it would probably take me that long to make an arrow. I'm not sure though. I guess assembling all the pieces required. But I'm not that much of a survivalist, so I'd probably die in the first eight hours. Uh, yeah, you're going to need one arrow shaft, an arrowhead, and three crow feathers. Which crow feathers are about the only respawnable item that does happen. They drop it about once a week over the corpses. So just follow the sounds of the birds and find those dead bodies. So that is everything for uh, crafting at the current juncture, and I will update with another future crafting video if any of that changes. This is all current with uh, 0.24 as 2.244 as it is currently right now. Alright guys, I'm going to continue my long run. Hope you're enjoying my uh, tutorial series, especially with all the Xbox players. Remember that this also helps out. Exact same game as Xbox One is on PC. I have both of the games, but I primarily record on PC just a little bit easier. Alright guys, hope you guys enjoyed. Be sure to like and subscribe as always, and I will see you in the next video. I should go. Just because I can drill you between the eyes at 100 meters doesn't mean I can't like sensitive stuff. Spit it out. Or are you trying to build suspense? What can I do for you?